two cargo ships. Please take back control of the port area so civilian shipping can resume. There are also SAMs in the area. Clearing out those missiles will allow special forces to land on those ships and retake them. Howdy folks, how you doing? Welcome back to Airbrusher Games and Art. How you doing today? Hope you're having a great one. Thanks for joining me again. And that's right, your eyes do not see view. That is the Challenger 1. Oh yeah. I have fallen in love with this tank. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A few things you need to know about it. And I'll say up front and then uh, during the game it will well, definitely be... Uh, Observed. First of all, um, this is the tier this tank is at. You will start seeing uh, armor that will react to what's happening to it. So you know the the armor is either spaced or composite, meaning it has different materials that will cause your rounds not to penetrate, or it's explosive reactive armor, which when it hits that piece of armor explodes out and really just kind of makes everything not happen. It's especially useful against like the uh, anti-tank missiles. And so you need to keep that in mind because you'll go through a lot of ammunition uh, pounding your way through that kind of armor until you start penetrating the hull or the turret because that armor is on some of the, the vehicle's turrets too. The Ramka, which you'll be seeing here, right there, is an example of it. That round obviously hit, it was armor piercing, and it just hit the reactive armor and did nothing. But now you see that armor is gone, and I'm trying to aim for it. And once you start hitting those places where the uh, ammo is gone, then you'll start doing your damage. So for now I'm going to let the other guys worry about him. So the first issue I ran into, uh, keeping that armor in mind with some of these vehicles, is um, this was my first game in this tank, and I don't have, I forgot to adjust my ammo. So I went in with uh, equal loads of armor piercing and high explosive. So there you go again, no pen because there's uh, armor protect or explosive armor protecting. You know, basically all around that tank. We have to kill that armor first before we can kill the tank. And so I'm going to run out of armor piercing uh, before this battle's over, and I'll you start. I'll start using Hesh, which is a squash head uh, ex high explosive anti or high explosive armor <laughs> high ex squash head high explosive round. Ugh, sorry about that. I'm. I knew I was going to jumble over that. Anyways, uh, and what that'll do is at the end of this battle, um, it's going to pretty much come down to me, and I'm going to be tackling these guys with uh, just the hash, and that's not going to be fun. Luckily, I, I do hang in there long enough to get through the battle. It's because this armor on this tank is insane. I love the armor on this tank. And one of the upgrades, a very expensive, I don't know where that round went. It didn't tell me I missed or didn't penetrate or nothing. But one of the upgrades for this tank is that kind of armor I was talking about. And so I look forward to that because I'm going to become even tougher. And that's a good thing. And so this is definitely a tank that you want to go through your upgrade system in PvE because even though um, you have the good armor uh, you will not have the best ammo that you'll ever see for doing PvP you need to kind of go through it and upgrade it as you go along so my suggestion is you know the the lower tier tanks and look at that those two ran into each other they almost look like players huh like real players I guess real players aren't that good <laughs> Uh, yeah, you see that a lot on the, the PvP server. <laughs> um, yeah, the lower tier tanks, you can get a few of the uh, upgrades going and, and still get into uh, PvP battles and be okay. 
the only saving grace of this tank is its armor. Uh, it will not do that well in PvP until you get the upgrades going. It's slow, it doesn't like to turn. Uh, for uh, I, what I'm thinking is the British armor is exact opposite of Ammo. British sports cars. Uh, British armor is fast in a straight line, doesn't like to turn, and uh, is heavy and just kind of milky. Where a British sports car is all about the turns, the corners, and handling like they're on rails. This tank does not do that. But it's okay. And this is another one of those battles where it just goes and goes and goes. As you can see, I'm getting down to the very end of my armor piercing rounds. I'm not watching my ammo because it just didn't occur to me, you know? So here we go. And this guy's coming right at me. I'm like, is he going to ram me? What's going on here? And yep, he tried to ram me, but I just plunked a big old hole in his head. And so now I'm on the uh, head, the hash, also called the squash round, which you heard the actual animated voice say. They call it squash. It's hash. It's armor piercing. It does. A, or sorry, I keep saying armor piercing. I'm really sorry about that. It's a high explosive that does a lot more damage. And I'm finding that I can go through some softer materials before it loses anything. And as you can see, yeah, not that much damage, but I am doing module and crew member damage by the ton. And that's helping me out too, because uh, as long as I can keep them damaged like they are, and I'm going through my seat of hikes or uh, high explosive, and I went through a wall and still hit. So squash is not that bad. But the the bread and butter of this tank is armor piercing. So don't forget to readjust your ammo. Go to a lot of uh, uh, armor piercing. I wouldn't go with more than five rounds starting out with these uh, PVE games. No more than five rounds of uh, Hesh. Go almost all armor piercing, you'll be much happier for it. Especially when you upgrade your ammo. So I want to remind you guys, um, first of all, I, I keep, I've been saying it in the last few videos, and I think I just need to keep saying it until the habit works back out, because uh, a lot of the guys that would talk to me in my um, video uh, chat, you know, the, the area there where you can talk back and forth with me. Um, you guys haven't been around, and I think it's because there's a whole bunch of other games, and uh, what brought you in is Armored Warfare. Armored Warfare will be on in, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the reason I'm saying this is uh, yesterday's, which is Friday's uh, Ar Armored, uh, Armored Warfare game, has got zero views, and that kind of worries me. I don't want you guys to leave me because I'm making other games. Um, I'm, I'm not going to stop playing the other games because as the guy that's running the channel and doing this full time, I need a little variety to keep me entertained too. So even if you don't watch those games, please come back for the Armored Warfare because I enjoy talking to you guys about it and I enjoy doing these videos. And I'm streaming Armored Warfare now, too. My stream is from Thursday to Tuesday. Uh, normally, you won't catch me on Wednesdays because I have an obligation. Um, right now, I'm not doing it, but I'm going to get into the habit and create the, you know, the, the habit already of not being on Wednesdays. So when I start doing that again, you won't um, notice it. You'll be, you know, it'll be business as usual. So I've had a few people come in and watch me uh, play Armored Warfare, and it's kind of funny. As soon as someone shows up, I, I play like shit. <laughs> I mean, isn't it always that way? But when I'm playing by myself, just doing my thing, you know, I don't do too bad. <laughs> and uh, so here I'm just trying to keep myself alive. Um, and as we're going to come around this corner here, I'm going to get on this guy here. 
and uh, I, I'm just trying to cap, and they're telling me to cap. I'm like, yeah, I'm, that's what the plan is. So that's what I'm headed here for. So if you guys will join me, uh, every, you know, s uh, six days a week, uh, I invite you to come in and check my stream out. It's Airbrusher41 on Twitch, twitchtv.com. Uh, and uh, the link is down in the uh, description. And I'm about to kill this guy and end the game. Here we go. First shot misses. Yay! As it normally does. Get the reload. And the reload is pretty quick on this tank. And there we go. So come in and check my uh, Twitch channel out. I appreciate, you know, it'd be fun to be able to talk to you guys in real time. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back soon, my friends. Until next time.